Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can automatically update and modify a text string with the values that are being pulled from another cell or other cells and um, using the concatenation function and the text function and uh, a few other things. So we'll, let's see how this is going to work. So here I have a little example of an account uh, with a $4 million value. And in this cell, I have it calculating so that if the per this, this percentage times that exceeds this cap, put in the cap. If it's below it, then put in what that amount is. So for example, if I have a $2 million value, it's going to put in $200,000, which is 10%. But if I have a $4 million value, it's going to put in $300,000 because I have it capped. And then I have a little statement here in my notes explaining what's going on. The issue is, every time I make a change to either the cap or the percentage, I have to manually go in and update that note. How can I do it automatically? Well, one thing we're going to use is the ampersand as a concatenation function. So what we're going to do, instead of saying 10% of the account with a maximum of $300,000, we're going to say equals this percentage and then put an ampersand and then the quote sign and spell this out as text put another quote to end that the ampersand and instead of three hundred thousand dollars we're gonna indicate cell C4 I hit enter and it's almost perfect what's the problem here the problem is that the formatting is in point one in 300,000 without the dollar sign and the comma separator instead of what I want. It does work that if I change this to 15%, that just changed to 0.15, or if I change the cap to 250,000, it does change that, but it doesn't take into account the formatting. So how we're going to change the formatting is with the text function. If we take a look at what the text function does, text function, um, you insert the value and format that text and that will provide what we need. So what we're going to do here is instead of just putting e, uh, equals d4, we're going to put equals text d4, which is the cell we want, a comma, and then the format. And the format for the percentage is what I have down here, which is a quote, 0%, and end the quote and then close the parentheses. If I hit enter you'll see now that the 15 percent is 15 percent with the percentage sign. So if I change this to 10 percent that will automatically change and keep the formatting. Next thing to do is to change the amount of the cap to reflect uh, this formatting here. So again what we're going to do is at this point we're going to enter text I already have the cell reference. I'll put a comma and then enter the formatting. And in this case, the formatting, which again has to go in quotes, is the dollar sign, pound sign, comma, pound, pound, zero, point zero, zero, end quotes, close my parentheses, hit enter, and now I have the formatting just like I want it to be. So regardless if I change the cap amount or if I change the percentage, both automatically change in my statement using the text function, the concatenate function, and putting the other part of the, of the statement in quotations. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to see more, please go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe to my blog. Happy Excelling!